Would you wear all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. Apple Max. Take it to the max. In my family, we strive to be responsible in order to ensure the well-being of our family. In the same way, I encourage my family to vote because it's their responsibility to do so as citizens. That's right. It is our responsibility to elect our leaders without influence from our families or anyone else. You have the right to vote. Use it. We, we will, will vote. Will you? Vote in the presidential election on the 20th of January 2015, starting from 06 hours to 18 hours. Carry your voters and green national registration card to be able to vote. The Electoral Commission of Zambia. Your vote. Your right. Your voice. Support peaceful elections. Want to just get out of town with your friends and family? Are you having a corporate getaway and have no adequate transport? Then this here is what you need to listen to. A brand new 35-seater Yutong luxury bus is now up for hire at an affordable and negotiable rate. It comes fully equipped with aircon, TV for your relaxation, music soothing your trip, and DVD players to give you variety. Book now by calling 0955. 0966-0977-844-141. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Potato chips. We know you'll love them. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. A warm welcome to Prime Television's main news. We're glad you could join us on our news desk to present it. My name is Martha Namanje. We take a look at stories making headlines. A woman bemoans lack of support after being impregnated by Chinese national. UPND gives defense chiefs ultimatum to disclose details of their meeting with acting president Guy Scott. Zambia records a decrease in inf inflation rate and five explosions rock Yemen capital. Those are the headlines in the news. Join me shortly with the details.
Thank you once again for joining us and now with the main news in detail. My name is Martha Namanje. A 57-year-old Chinese man of Makeni, Liu Zogan, who impregnated an 18-year-old Zambian, Angela Mazima, has refused to offer support to her and the child. Mr. Alex Mazima, father to Angela, has told Prime TV News that from the time his daughter was impregnated, she has never received support from the Chinese national. He says it is worrying that Chinese investors have now become the most perpetrators of impregnant girls. Mr. Mazima says it is sad that every time he and his daughter went to see the Chinese workers of Golden Chopstick Hotel in Makeni where he works are usually hiding him. <laughs> The United National Independence Party, UNEP, has joined a list of other parties expressing displeasure with what they term as unfair coverage by the Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, ZNBC. In a letter addressed to ZNBC Director General and obtained by Prime TV, UNIP Deputy Secretary General Alfred Banda says the party is saddened with ZNBC coverage of their party President Tilienji Kaunda when he filed in his nomination on the 19th of December 2014 at the Supreme Court. Mr. Banda has accused ZNBC of willingly and deliberately deciding not to show the multitudes of supporters who went to show solidarity for the UNI president. He has since aged ZNBC to offer a fair and balanced coverage to all political parties than favoring only selected political parties. UNI becomes the third party to complain of unfair and balanced coverage after UPND and FDD. United Party for National Development, UPND Mazabuka Central Member of Parliament, Gary Nkombo has given defense chiefs up to Thursday to tell the nation what they discussed in a meeting with acting president, Dr. Guy Scott, at his residence. Mr. Nkombo has charged that the defense chiefs must clearly state their position if they are siding with PF and its presidential candidate, Edgar Lungu. He says people of Zambia need to know the details of the meeting because it has raised serious suspicions and the UPND says it is mounting measures to ensure there is no rigging in the January 20th presidential elections. The Mazabuka lawmakers speaking at the media briefing at the party secretariat in Lusaka. United Party for National Development Mazapuka Central Member of Parliament Galen Kombo has challenged the Chief Army Commander to tell the nation of allegations that they went to meet Acting President Dr. Guy Scott. Mr. Nkombo has charged that the Chief Army Commander must clearly state their position if they are siding with PF and its presidential candidate Edgar Lungo. He says it's a known fact to the public that they know that they went to see the acting president and this has left Zambian people with speculations over the alleged meeting and what was discussed. To challenge the, the, the service chiefs that we in the UPND are giving them an ultimate that before the sun sets tomorrow on Christmas Day they must take, make their position known so that we can stop speculating. They owe that explanation to the Zambian people. They must come out in their individual form or in their collective form and inform the nation exactly what they went to do to Dr. Guy Scott, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. 
Mr. Nkomba has threatened that the army chief commander who went to Dr. Gascott will be charged with prison if he and others do not publicly tell the Zambian people what they went to do. Prince Kaza reporting from TV News, Lusaka. The national executive members of the movement for multi-party democracy, MMD, has described the expulsion of Muhawi Lungu and his deputy, Chembe Nyango, as now and void, speaking on behalf of the 10 chairpersons from all 10 provinces. Faustina Sinyango says Dr. Mumba has no right to expel or remove anyone from the NEC committee, saying only the disciplinary members have the right to do so. Ms. Sinyangwe has therefore announced that as NEC members, they will not support the MMD candidate Dr. Nebas Mumba, but will rally behind the PF presidential candidate Edgar Lungo in the forthcoming presidential election. Membership of the 10 nominated members of parliament. Critically looking at our constitution, it has come out very clearly that Dr. Mumba, even if he's a president, he has no powers to expel anybody without following the procedure. So as things stand now, Mr. Muhavi Lungu and Mr. Chembe Nyangu still remain as National Secretary and Deputy National Secretary respectively. And all our 10 nominated members are still members of the National Executive Committee. Yes. Only after we have followed the process of charging them exculpating themselves, only does the disciplinary committee recommend to neck either for expulsion or suspension. So in the absence of this, all that Dr. Mumba did is null and void. Meanwhile, MMD expelled National Secretary Muhabi Lungu says NEC members decided to hold a meeting on Wednesday morning in order to charter a way forward for the party. He says the MMD as a party will continue to move as a team and will not allow an individual to hijack the party. To that quorum, we were 24. 24. That uh, we, uh, we, and, and, we, and the register is here, we were 24. That is one. Secondly, according to our party constitution, the meeting of the NEC, uh, according to our party constitution, shall be chair, the chairman of the NEC is the national chairman. Uh, in the absence of the national chairman, uh, the convention has been that the president of the party chairs the meeting. Both the national chairman and the national and the president who were invited to these meetings did not come. So the 24 of us that were here as NEC members elected uh, a, a chairperson to chair the meeting, and that chairperson was Mrs. Faustina Sinyango. Yes. There was a proposal and a seconda, and there was no objection. The result of this, the result of this, and please hear me very clearly, okay, is that we are not claiming to be an NEC meeting. We are, what we are saying is that this was a consultative meeting of members of the NEC. You're watching Prime Television's menus with me, Martha Namanje. Before we take a break, here are the local headlines again. A woman bemoans lack of support after being impregnated by a Chinese national. UPND gives defense chiefs out midterm to disclose details of their meeting with acting president Guy Scott. Zambia records a decrease in inflation rate. Join me for more on these and other stories after the break. Yeah, madam, this is a month. No problem, it's very busy here. Yeah, your sister, come and get busy. Since you are not going to be able to vote for my presidential elections. Huh? Don't tell me. You can't afford to miss out on your right to vote. Elections are a time for you to choose a leader of your choice. You're a boy. Suzy, but voting is important. You need to vote if you want to put a leader of your choice in power. Oh, okay. But for me, I'm going to vote for sense. Anyway, since voting is a time. Your car is ready. Zikomo, the car looks great. I'll bring it here again for another wash. No problem. 
as long as it is not on 20th January, because I'll be voting. Vote in the presidential election on the 20th of January 2015, starting from 06 hours to 18 hours. Carry your voters and green national registration card to be able to vote. The Electoral Commission of Zambia. Your vote, your right, your voice. Support peaceful elections. Would you wear all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. What's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. We now continue with the Prime Television's main news. The annual inflation rate for the month of December has decreased from 8.1 to 7.9, recorded in the month of November. The decrease has been attributed to non-food products accounted for 3.9%. The month of November, however, recorded a 21% trade surplus drop to due to the increase in the country's export. This is according to the Central Statistical Monthly Bulletin presented Presented by John Kalumbi, Census and Statistics Director. National average price of a 20 liter tin of maize, of maize grain, increased uh, by 10.8 percent, from 26 kwacha uh, 38 ingwe to 29 kwacha 24 ingwe. So, colleagues, uh, partners, and uh, um, friends. These are the few highlights with regards to the monthly, uh, to the annual inflation and the monthly inflation rates and um, uh, the contributing factors. The, we have had trade surpluses throughout because the, the, the signs are positive. Of course, in some cases, the, the surplus has been reducing, sometimes increasing. So we are saying uh, in this particular aspect, with respect to November um, uh, international merchandise trade, trade statistics, we are saying November 2014 records reduced the trade surplus of 53.9 million kwacha. The movement for multi-party democracy, MMD, has described the decision by over 30 of its members of parliament to back the UPND as a setback. MMD National Secretary Mwansambula Kolima says the decision taken by the MPs is painful, especially that the party is fielding in a candidate. Mr. Mbula Kolima, however, explains that the party has enough human resource to make the party win the January 20th 
2015 presidential election speaking when he featured on a live prime TV program dubbed the oxygen of democracy Mr. Mblakulima pleaded with the MPs to rescind their decision to support the UPND and back MMD's president Nevas Mumba over 30 MMD MPs have decided to back the opposition UPND saying this was a decision made by the party's national executive committee so you, you, you've answered um, the question that I was going to ask you to say, why should Zambians vote for you, especially that you are already in power now, you will put it out. But nonetheless, I'll still go back to my earlier question which I asked. It seems you've not answered it uh, regarding the over 30 members of parliament who are supporting the UPND and while the MMD is also fielding in a candidate. Where does that leave you as a party? That has not disturbed us in a real sense. Although that could be termed as a setback, our biggest resource, I mean, the strength that we have in MMD, I think is the human resource. The number of members of parliament who have gone is quite substantial. Okay? And now, I would say these are brilliant people who, if they stick together, a political party, they will make a difference. In this case, that's why I'm calling them to come back. Right, but even when they go, okay, because we are so many, we believe that we can find a replacement. Meanwhile, fourth Republican President Rupia Banda has thanked all members of the MMD that asked him to rejoin active politics. He says after the ruling of the High Court last week, there is need for the members to respect the decision made. Mr. Banda says following the court's outcome, every Zambian is hoping for the best outcome of the elections. He says he and the party work closely with those that have the best interest of the party and those that will recognize the existence of the MMD as a legitimate party participant in the current political dispensation. This is according to a statement made available to Prime TV News by Mr. Banda. You're still watching Prime Television's main news. We'll now take a break. Join me after that with a roundup of international news. Have you lost your voter's card? Is your voter's card defaced or damaged? If so, you can replace your voter's card during the voter's card replacement exercise from the 28th of December 2014 to the 3rd of January 2015. During this exercise, four rural centers will be opened in every rural constituency and three centers will be opened in every urban constituency. Voters who have lost their cards will need to present a police report and their green national registration card in order to collect a new voter's card. Voters whose cards are defaced or damaged will have to produce the damaged card and their green national registration card before a new card can be issued to them. During this exercise, no new voters will be registered and no transfers will be effected for voters that have moved to a different location. Furthermore, the Commission will not extend the voter card replacement exercise beyond January the 3rd, 2015. For further information, contact the Office of the District Electoral Officer in your respective districts who are town clerks and council secretaries. Vote in the presidential election on the 20th of January 2015 starting from 06 hours to 18 hours. Carry your voters and green national registration card to be able to vote. The Electoral Commission of Zambia. Your vote. Your right. Your voice. Support peaceful elections. Apple Max. Take it to the max. Thank you so much for staying tuned. And now, before we end the news, here is a roundup of international news. 
five bombs have exploded in Sana's old quarter, where many supporters of the Shia Muslim Houthi group live, killing at least one person and wounding another. Witnesses said the blast occurred early in the morning at the time when only a few people were on the streets. One of the bombs exploded when a member of the Houthi armed group tried to dismantle it, residents said. Several houses and some cars were damaged by the explosion. Yemen has been in trauma since mass protests in 2011. Forced long, forced long ruling President Ali Abdullah Saleh to step down, but tensions have increased after the Houthi takeover of Sun in September. The U.S. economy is growing at its fastest pace in 11 years in the strongest sign yet that growth has decisively shifted into higher gear. The U.S. Commerce Department said on Tuesday that the economy grew by an annual rate of 5% in the third quarter of this year between July and September, largely by consumer spending and investment in business. The report suggested that unlike other areas of the world where growth was slowing or actively shrinking, the strength of the U.S. economy appeared to have been sustained. The Commerce Department cited stronger consumer and business spending than previously estimated for the fastest rate growth since the third quarter of 2003. Growth in business investment was raised by 1.8 percent to a rate of 8.9 percent, the report added. And finally, we now monitor Al Jazeera for more and other international stories. British Peshmerga forces appear to be pushing towards the center of Sinjar in northwestern Iraq. They're trying to retake the territory from ISIL fighters who took control of Sinjar in August. Well, neighboring Syria, ISIL says it's shot down a fighter jet from the U.S.-led international coalition. The incident is reported to have taken place near the ISIL stronghold of al-Raqqa. Activists say that the plane's pilot has been taken prisoner. 38 people have been killed in a suicide bombing in southern Baghdad. 13 Iraqi soldiers are among the dead. A suicide bomber blew himself up outside a military base in Madain town. Soldiers were queuing up to receive their monthly salaries. More than 50 people were injured in the attack. At least 50 people have been killed by gunmen in northeastern India. They attacked two villages in Assam state. It comes after Indian security forces launched a campaign against the rebels last month. The treaty regulating the multi-billion dollar global arms trade has come into effect. The arms trade treaty aims at keeping weapons out of the hands of warlords, human rights abusers and criminal organizations. And an airport baggage handler in the U.S. city of Atlanta has been charged with helping to smuggle guns onto passenger planes. Cell phone records and airport surveillance video were used to determine how a Delta Airlines employee got the weapons past security. The FBI says dozens of weapons, including an AK-47, were smuggled. That international roundup wraps up our menus bulletin. But just before we go, here are the headlines again. A woman bemoans lack of support after being impregnated by a Chinese national. UPND gives defense chiefs ultimatum to disclose details of their meeting with acting president Dr. Guy Scott. Zambia records a decrease in inflation rate. And finally, five explosions rock Yemen capital. That's all we had on our menus bulletin. On behalf of the entire studio crew, my name is Martha Namanje. It's goodbye for now and have a pleasant viewing.
I was just checking up some information on the Electoral Commission of Zambia website. Did you know that the Electoral Commission of Zambia has set January 20th, 2015 as the date for the presidential election? Remember that in order to vote, you'll need your green national registration card and your voter's card. Voting is the constitutional right of every Zambian citizen. Exercise your right by voting for the presidential candidate of your choice on January 20th, 2015. Vote in the presidential election on the 20th of January 2015, starting from 06 hours to 18 hours. Carry your voters and green national registration card to be able to vote. The Electoral Commission of Zambia. Your vote, your right, your voice. Support peaceful elections. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation.